I wasn't a Red Sox fan. Never. Really? No, Fenway Park just never occurred to me. Braves Field. Uh-huh. And Braves Field, I remember so well. <laughs> you you would go to the sidewalk outside of Braves Field with the Boston Braves, uh, and you would wait on the wide sidewalk outside Braves Field for maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, because what you wanted to do was to get in for free to see the Boston Braves play. And so after a while, the ticket taker would say, come on. And you'd go in, get onto the turnstile, and turn the turnstile for about 10 minutes, after which you could go where you wanted inside Braves Field. As a result of which, I, I never got involved with, the, you know, the Red Sox. <laughs> That's right. In any case, um, um, So who was in your family? Who? Your, who, who did your family consist of? Mice. Frank and Zina. Uh, Ruth was my older sister. Helen who was a somewhat about four years younger, I guess. Irving, who was four and a half years older than I, and me. And Gordon B. Hinckley, who was the president of the Mormon Church, who's now, I guess, 97. But I knew him when I was, <laughs> when he was younger. In his early 80s, I guess. Um, <clears throat> we hit it off. We had a good time together. And so he arranged for the Mormons research team to go back to Russia, back to Ukraine, which was the part of Russia that my folks came from, both my mother and father, and they found records of where they came from. And my dad's name apparently was Friedel Wallach came to the New York, it must have been, oh, in the early 1900s, and it, while he was there, being admitted into the country, they decided that it was, somebody wrote it down that it was Wallace, or Wallach, or something. Apparently, <coughs> somebody at Ellis Island, because that's where he came in, um, wrote it down as Wallace. Hmm. And I, I gotta believe that probably it was W A L L A S or something like that, hmm. from Wallace to Wallace. My dad was in the insurance business, and a lot of his clients <coughs> were people that he had known in the old country. By that time, he got seriously involved in taking care of people from the old country. Dad being an insurance man, he didn't make a big fortune. Actually, he had a, he started a wholesale grocery, a wholesale grocery uh, mm -hmm. firm. This what was, was that called? Remember? Hmm? Do you remember what that was called? Well, for a while, it was Frank Wallace and Sons. We were never, I was never in the, uh, I don't know how that happened, was always bewildered by it. And they didn't particularly want to talk about the old days, my mother and father. They wanted to talk about, and uh, the future. And for some reason, we, as Jews, uh, I don't know whose notion this was, we wound up not as orthodox or even as conservative. We wound up as reform too. I was never bar mitzvah. I was confirmed at the age of 16. Right. My brother was, he learned, he learned uh, Hebrew, but I didn't. I, I don't know why, I mean, I, I have no idea why. Went to Sunday school at Temple Israel. We lived close to the Kennedys. Jack Kennedy and I were lived when we were on Osborne Road. Um, 
Jack Kennedy went to through the third grade at devotion school. But the Kennedys had, by that time, Joe Kennedy had, had begun to make some money. And back then, I guess he was a bootlegger, among other things. And obviously smart as a dickens. And so Jack and I knew each other when we were little kids, but Jack never went to Brookline High. He went to Brown and Nichols, I believe, mm -hmm. and eventually wound up at Harvard. I went to Ann Arbor to school uh, in 19... I graduated from high school in 1935, yeah. Went up to the Middle West, and stayed there, and then Navy back to New York, God's country. I haven't spent time in Boston. I used to come here, uh, not the vineyard, well, at the, the vineyard too, down on Tajmo Street. My folks used to take the uh, two, three, two, three weeks in the summertime take in a rooming house. It was called the Rabbit House at the time because it was the rabbit family. At first, we went to Falmouth, I remember. We went to a place called Falmouth Heights. Mm -hmm. And and finally, hey, let's try and see if we can't get over the vineyard. Yeah. I'm proud to come from Boston. You know, there was, where are you from? Oh, I, I grew up in Boston. Oh, oh, really? One of the first families? <laughs> no. Frank and Zynum. <laughs> 